All right, YouTube, what is up? How's it going? Mitchell James here as always. I am kind of just gonna do like a chill type of vlog video thing. Um, I posted it on Facebook that I was gonna have a new video out tonight, and so I'm doing it not just because of that, but also because I thought of some good content, and I thought, well, I talk about this studio that I have all the time, but it's actually a home studio. Um, everything that I have, I've bought or has been given to me um, <clears throat> so that's really, really nice, but I thought I'd kind of do like a super chill, easy, like, tour of it. I'm not going to explain every single thing, but I have kind of this, like, um, this musical piece put together at the moment, and it's, it's kind of nice, and I thought I could also do that. But some people, like me, want to start their own type of studio, um, and some people just need to know what do you need as a bare minimum. Um, I have a little bit more than the bare minimum, minimum <laughs> which is nice, but uh, yeah, I think it, thought it'd be good to go through. So, stick around. I'm going to kind of give you a tour of my little home studio that I have and uh, what I'm using, so yeah. Okay, first things first, uh, ignore the light because it's reflecting off of my laptop. But the first thing I got was actually not the laptop, but it was this acoustic guitar. I got this for Christmas about three years ago. And luckily, it sounds really, really good. Um, I eventually later got it uh, kind of, I guess, tailored for an acoustic electric. So I had a shop put in the electric bit for me, and it sounds really, really nice. Um, the next piece that I got was indeed the laptop. So I actually bought it um, used from this guy in a city near me, and you know, it was, it was just kind of a thing like that. But. Uh, got it used it's just a I think it's a 2013 MacBook Pro the only reason I wanted this was first of all it's a Mac and I like using iPhone better you can fight me on that it's fine <laughs> we can argue about Android versus Apple if you want but I like Apple simply because I can use this garage band here um, this is the free garage band so I don't have the logic yet I'm eventually going to get it but this is just the free garage band and some people are like oh my gosh that's so <sighs> not good enough for music producers, but it's actually pretty false. Um, GarageBand is quite powerful, especially nowadays with the new updates and things. You can do quite a bit and they have quite a bit of sounds and obviously you can go out and buy and download other sounds and things. But while I'm here, I might as well show you this little thing I'm kind of working on. Um, it sounds kind of cool. It's going to be like a rap song. I got to add some acoustic guitar, but um, the next thing I bought was these actual studio monitors. These were $150, I got them off of Amazon. So they're not super, super expensive, but they sound pretty decent. So yeah. <clears throat> this electric guitar. Um, I bought this used from the guitar shop that I like. Um, it's kind of my baby. It's not an actual Gibson. It is a silver tone. Um, it was $150, but it sounds like I played it at the guitar shop and I was kind of skeptical that it would just sound like crap, but it sounded actually very decent. So I was happy and I got it and I love it. It's my baby. Her name is Cherry. <laughs> and the next thing, which is my other baby is this, this Yamaha P125. So I, I'm making payments on this still, but I, oh, I just love it so much. It sounds so good, and there's so many good sounds on it. It can be hooked up to the computer via MIDI or line in, and I just absolutely love it. Um, I've been playing on this thing all the time. It's so easy to write songs on the piano for me. Um, obviously, this big going in the background is pretty decent. I like it. It's just looping right now, but I'm <clears throat> working on that. The next piece is something that um, a lot of people get confused um, or not with. I mean, this is a MIDI controller. So these things, you've probably seen, um, if you ever looked up into these things, these Akai MPK minis, this is actually Mach 2. Um, they're really, really nice for their price. So I think this thing was like a hundred bucks. I think it was like a hundred bucks-ish. You can probably find it cheaper online, but bought it for $100 a guitar center. And basically what it does, if you don't know what MIDI is, is this thing can make so many different sounds, it's unbelievable. So it's basically a MIDI controller. So it controls all of the MIDI sounds, oops, in your library. So let me just go ahead and make a new MIDI track here. Okay, and so right now it's on classic electric piano. So if I play it, turn it up 
a little bit. It sounds like a classic electric piano. Right? Turn it up a little bit more. If I want it to be, this doesn't work. If I want it to be something else, So you can make it obviously all your synthesizers that you want if you wanted to download more than what's in your like this is just the garage band library so say i want to do some basses because sometimes i don't have a bass so i have to use and then i can octave down right so let's go down two steps right there's a figure style bass there for you boom Say I want to make some like rap music and I want to do some like drum kits and a electric drum kit. Let's do there. What's nice about this one specifically is it's more than just the keyboard, right? You also have the drum pad, so. I have all these sounds on here. Right, it's, it, there's loads of fun there. And then obviously I can still, if I want, control it with. <laughs> I can still control all of the sounds there. So if you're looking to get in a studio and you don't have much and you don't have all of these instruments first, I mean, this is gonna be your cheapest way to go because you can do so much with that, it's unbelievable. Um, so that's that. That's probably my favorite toy, aside from her. <laughs> So, I mean, that's that's what I use the most for, um, like, this kind of stuff when I'm doing things that aren't completely natural instruments, um, which I'm working on and getting better at using it a lot. So, there's all that. Um, that's most of it. I guess the few other things I have, I have this cajon. Um, I like doing that for, like, if I'm playing outside. Or sometimes it's just hard, it's hard for me to record it, but if I do get a good sounding recording, it's, it's kind of nice. It's more natural sounding than if I was to do drums off of the MIDI. Um, but I would probably be quicker to do the MIDI than that, just because that's me. So I think that's a pretty good brief, uh, I guess, kind of tour of the studio equipment that I have. Um, there's other little things, obviously, thrown in there. Um, I actually have a bass, but she's missing right now. My friend has a little tour of the studio. I hope you guys stick around for the stuff that I am going to be making with this studio. <laughs> um, this song is going to be coming out and I have three other songs that are going to be coming out. Actually, you know what, I should stop saying that because I'm releasing the album in May. Um, I think I might have said that in my first introduction video, but I can't remember because it was a while back. But I'm shooting for spring to release my actual album. Um, but I'm working, I'm even right now, I'm working on songs that are going to be on the next album, which is probably the year after that, or maybe this year, depending on th how things go. But, uh, I mean, I've got the whole concept for the album after this one basically dreamed up already. Uh, so there's a lot coming your way. There's a lot coming your way. It's just kind of slow right now because I just moved all of this stuff here and things like that. But, uh, yeah, I'm really excited, and I hope you guys are too. So stick around. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Um, I really like using the Instagram, so if you want to go there, uh, check out the description because I like posting daily updates and things like that on there, or I try to every day anyway. Um, if you haven't also liked the Facebook page yet, I also do, um, I'm going to be starting to do like live gigs and stuff, so if you're around uh, this area, you could uh, come check them out. I'll be posting all that stuff on Facebook, so that's what's up, you guys. That's what's up. That's what's new. I'm going to be doing this stuff along with school and work, so it's going to be fun, but I hope you guys will support me through it, and thank you for joining this journey. I'll see you later.